Okay. Empress in reverse. I don't feel like this Empress should be in reverse. I really don't. The Eight of Wands. Something's coming towards you. Spirit is telling me to up, turn this upright. We'll come back and clarify this Empress, but I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be upright. What's new? So you, if you resonate as Divine Feminine, you have something coming in for you. You could be a masculine and all this means if you're a masculine is be open to receive. Okay. What What's new and next? For my collective in their next chapter okay knight of pentacles so something you've been waiting for for a long time is finally coming here king of pentacles all right something you've been waiting on for a long time what's new and next next chapter of my collective's life three of cups a reason to celebrate so, yeah, I'm getting some real good energy. This is basically just telling me there's something coming in here for you. A reason to celebrate. What's new and next for my collective? Something you've been, unex, something unexpected, Scorpio energy. What's new and next for my collective? We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy out here. Um, Cancer energy, the Nine of Wands. And the King of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Interesting. You're leaving and going somewhere. I feel like you're leaving and going somewhere here. But listen, if, if this is you, I feel like something you've been working on when it comes to your stability, your money, your career, right? The King of Pentacles energy is about you working on your finances. It's about you working on your job. That's really important to you, your purpose, your career. You could be a leader. Um, Empress energy is definitely someone who's a leader, right? Male or female, especially with this King of Wands. Okay. So the King of Wands is somebody who takes action. There's someone who's disciplined. That's this King of Pentacles with that discipline energy. The King of Wands is a go-getter, right? They're a natural born leader. So I feel like I'm talking to somebody here who might be stepping into leadership here. Uh, we're going to clarify a few things, but, um, I, you, this is something that I feel like you're not going to expect. I feel like this is something you've fought for, you've been working on for a very, very long time with this Knight of Pentacles and this Nine of Wands energy here. And when it comes towards you, it's going to come in fast. I feel like there's going to be some changes and it's going to be unexpected. This also may include you teaming up with a group of people, okay? Maybe two other people. This could be a collaboration, um, uh, teamwork, team effort. So let's see, clarify the Empress, please. The Four of Swords. Clarify the Empress. The Five of Cups crossing. I feel like this is you healing. You're really doing the work here. You're not in any form of regret in the, from the past. It's like you're letting go of the past. You're healing. You may be taking a break right now. Things might be going, moving a little bit slow and you're like, okay, when is this coming? Because you've been working on something for quite a while or you've been waiting on something for quite a while. All right. So continue to rest as you're moving into this new chapter. Okay. And remember to let go of the past and do not regret anything Everything you've learned up until this moment, moving into this next chapter, this new chapter in your life, it was a lesson to teach you, to give you some form of tool or wisdom so you can apply it in the future. Okay. What's this eight of wands? What's this eight of wands? Five of pentacles. Y'all might have some unexpected money, loss of money here. Be careful with that. Be careful with uh, unexpected, like overspending. What's this eight of wands? The moon. Yeah, this might be cancer energy. This be careful with how much you're spending. Make sure you have a, um, a savings account or something of some sort. Because I feel like there's going to be some form of disappointment here with the four of cups energy. Like you might have to pay out something. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're having to pay out here, um, but it definitely seems unexpected. And it worries you. What What is this eight of, eight of Wands with this Five of Pentacles in the Moon? Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, 
be careful about who you give money to, who you spend, how much money you're spending. Okay. Be very wise with what you spend your money and make sure you have like money for a rainy day. Okay. Money for a rainy day. But I still feel like spirit may be just trying to warn you about that and give you a heads up. But let's see what this Knight of Pentacles is. What's this Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles is about building. The Knight of Pentacles is about having a plan, being disciplined, especially with the King of Pentacles, right? It's like building brick by brick. Don't overspend, like being thoughtful about your approach to something here and taking your time. And I feel like that's what you've been doing here. What's this Knight of Pentacles? <clears throat> the Hierophant. You may be getting an offer from um, an institution, an organization here. This is something that also too, this is full on commitment. To keep, yeah, this is full on commitment, Taurus energy with the Knight of Pentacles. This is something that I feel like you've been committed to or your spirit is saying that you need to stay disciplined and committed. So something that you've been working on for a very long time, I feel like is going to flourish for you. This could be a new start with a new job, a new company. You could be creating your own company. You're building it from the ground up, or this is you starting a new career and building that from the ground up. This is something that you, once you start it, I feel like there's long longevity. There's room for growth and longevity. Like this isn't something that's going to happen by night um, or be over, you know, it's not temporary. What's this King of Pentacles? The page of wands. So this offer could be coming from a king of pentacles, which can sometimes be a manager, or a boss, right? Um, what's this news here? Page of wands. This news about the strength card. Leo energy. What's this news about? Five of swords. competition beating out the competition you might be getting news that you beat out the competition three of pentacles there goes that energy of collaboration and teamwork somebody wants to team up with you and you're the best fit for this you're the best fit for this Make sure you're not lacking confidence in whatever this is that you're doing this could be a contract this could be a collaboration or you being part of a team or you leading a team okay or yeah what's this what's this three of cups okay the six of cups just fell way over there and then we have the four of wands on the bottom of the deck you may be moving okay if you're not moving buying a new home or celebrating this is a strong foundation a solid foundation and whatever this foundation is i feel like it's going to be emotionally satisfying it's something that you've always wanted this is emotional satisfaction with the six of cups and the three of cups this may be you helping other people doing something that makes helps other people or enhances other people's lives um i just feel like you were maybe were born to do this some of y'all, this could be a family business or this could be a skill that you have that was passed down to you from parents or your ancestors or grandparents, even for some of you. This could be something that you've known you were supposed to do since you were a child with this Six of Cups energy. What's the tower? Okay, the Two of Pentacles. What's this tower here? I feel like that's some energy of you feeling undecided on whether or not how you're going to move forward. Like, or where you're going to move. Some of you all might be moving. If you're not moving, this is like, how do I move forward? You know, in a balanced way and approach. You might be, you might get really busy. I feel like the next chapter in your life is going to be extremely busy. And you definitely might have to move away and go somewhere, okay? Or you're leaving something behind. This is like, okay, I'm leaving behind something that I'm not really totally satisfied with. And I'm walking into my nine of cups on a new journey. Um, and I know exactly where I want to go and what I want to do. Um, <clears throat> what's this two of pentacles chariot? So just know this, this is going to require for you to leave and go somewhere. But wherever you're leaving and going, two of wands, make sure you're very strategic about it. You think, think wisely about it. Have a plan, write down, be strategic. Seven of swords and the two of wands is about planning, 
having a clear plan, okay? That is going to be very, very for important for you to stay focused and have a clear, clear plan. I feel like you're going to make a choice though. And whatever choice that you're going to make, make sure it works out for you, okay? What's this tool want? Some of y'all might be moving, relocating or something. Yeah, travel, move, relocating, something. The, the world card here is all about, this is fixed sign energy, so you could be a fixed sign, but it doesn't matter. The world card is about, um, did I say wheel? Sorry if I said wheel, but the world card here is energy of travel. It's energy of the internet, okay? Maybe somebody here is building or creating an internet business or something you do on the internet is you're planning, creating a website, okay? Or this could be you planning about where you're going to go, where you're moving to, where you're traveling, whatever it is. I feel like it's going to be exciting. Knight of Wands, very exciting time. You know, the world is all about success and achievement. But in order to be successful, Spirit is saying, stay disciplined, make balanced choices, and plan ahead. Okay? Plan ahead. All right. I want to know what this King of Wands is. What's this King of Wands? What's this King of Wands? The Ace of Swords. This is you knowing what you need to do, what action you need to take, King of Wands to the Ace of Swords. What's this King of Wands, Ace of Swords? Ooh. This is you moving swiftly. So this is like don't sit on your sit sit on your hands and twiddle your thumbs. Make act take some form of action. Okay. After you have a plan, make sure you're careful about I think this is very swift action. You know what you need to do. Give me one more on the King of Wands and the Ace of Swords. The Queen of Wands. Yeah. So whether you're masculine or feminine here, Spirit is telling you, like, take action. Um, make sure it's a balanced approach, right? Make sure that you are in the masculine and in the feminine energy at the same time. But you, you've got a divine counterpart here. Be sure you're making the right, the best decisions too, because sometimes this Knight of Swords energy is all about like making hasty decisions too quickly. That's another reason why you need to make sure that you are planning, planning. What's this Queen of Wands? Mm. The Nine of Cups just fell in my lap. The, listen, I, we just talked about this Eight of Cups. Walking away. This is you moving into an emotionally fulfilling, satisfying new chapter of your life. Whatever it is that you're going to be doing, you're going to be in abundance of it. You're going to be in abundant life, prosperous, have, you're going to have more than enough. Okay. You're going to feel emotionally satisfied. Some of you are going to be working with children. There's a child in this queen of wands. There are children here in this six of cups. Okay. There are children here in this emperor. Some of y'all might be having children. There are more children here in this chalice, this energy. Somebody could have, maybe what you do is working with children somehow, some way. Yeah, there is a, there is, I'm telling you, the uh, queen of swords and the three of pentacles is back at the bottom of the deck with the page of pentacles. There is some sort of offer for you to be in partnership. Okay. Let's move on to a different deck. What what new is coming into the collector's life? Ne new, next chapter in life for the collector. All right. I'm not, I, you know, I don't read these cards in reverse, you guys. So we got Virgo energy out here. Um, witchy, analytical, perfectionist, details, critical, responsible, humble, orderly, insight, and alchemist and health. Pay attention to what you're doing, what you put into your body, what you're doing, how you're eating. Are you exercising? Are you leading a healthy life? Pay attention to your daily routine. That's what this Virgo energy is, okay? Focusing on your daily routine and your health. But there is something significant here that spirit wants you to know that you need to be analyzing very carefully with this two of pentacles, the chariot, and the two of wands and the world. There is something, you may be a perfectionist, okay? Or you may need to really really review something 
pay attention to the details. It's all about order and details. Get organized. If you're not good at being organized, you might be learning to be more organized. I feel like that's going to help you. Okay. Then we have this Saturn energy discipline, slow and steady, delay, test, practicality, maturity, self-control, limits, endurance, structure, and tradition. So this is also spirit telling you with that, especially with that Hierophant card, we just talked about discipline, right? That's that chariot energy. Um, be disciplined with your finances and make sure you're not, you know, we already talked about it. I don't have to tell you again. You just might need to be forming some form of structure here. Then we have Quinson energy. This is challenging, requiring adjustments, complexity, clashes, contradictions, frustration, learn to compromise. So definitely you, you may be working with other people. You don't have to do everything all on your own. Okay. Make sure that you are open to other people helping you or showing you how to do something. Maybe this is you, someone helping you get more organized. There's something ch challenging and difficult here that I feel like you are trying to work through it with this nine of wands and this tower energy. You will figure it out. Show me more. You will figure it out. You just need to figure out what those adjustments are. Waning moon, surrender and let go. Go with the flow. Move on. That's that eight of cups energy we just talked about, right? So you can walk into your nine of cups energy. Recuperate and rest. That's that four of swords spirit is telling you about. Let fate take its course. Not the right time to take action, okay? You will know when it's time to take action. That's that king of swords and that ace of swords and that knight of swords, You'll know. And then when you do, it's going to be like, boom, nine of cups. Here goes my wish fulfillment. I have more than enough. I have everything more than I ever could imagine. And there goes that Jupiter energy. Jupiter energy is about luck. It's about um, good fortune, the wheel, being on the good positive side of the wheel, abundance, growth, success, fulfillment, okay, happiness, travel, chance, foreign affairs, optimism, and exploration. That was that Knight of Wands energy that we saw. So I'm not saying this, this journey is going to be perfect. You're going to have some hiccups along the way. The main point here is for you to be willing to adjust, plan. OK, when you're feeling frustrated, maybe ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, learn to compromise and learn how to work with other people. Make sure you have some discipline in order to your daily routine. Make sure you're taking care of yourself like this is really going to require some focus. I'm not even going to lie. This is going to require some focus and some self-control. Just period. What else is new is coming in for the next chapter for the collective? Yeah, you feel like you're in a period of stagnation. It's meant for you to be in this period of, st period of stagnation right now because you're supposed to be resting and rejuvenating because things are about to get really busy for you. Spirit says, realize that perceived delays are not always bad, but a process your soul needs to go through to activate your soul's potential. So take a deep breath and enjoy the journey and trust the divine plan. Okay. The unseen. So you, you, that's that moon energy that we talked about. Though my, though life may seem uneventful to you right now, it doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes while you rest, trust, and surrender to the universe. Okay, so rest, rejuvenate, and trust in the universe. Okay, trust in the divine plan. The journey, we already talked about this, the journey that you're on right now is all because you were meant to experience all of these things because it's going to help you in, with the wisdom, have all the tools that you need to be successful in the future. Okay, you, yeah, you're having a breakthrough. After being in this nine of wands, energy, stress, feeling like, dang, why is this so hard? Why is this taking so long? Okay, that's that ace of swords energy, king of wands. Having, I mean, hey, y'all, having that breakthrough. Now I know what I need to do. Now I see what action I need to take. There's an unexpected breakthrough in some area of your life. Faded events and unexpected messages. Shocking love. That's that page of wands energy, that unexpected message, right? Shocking love developments. I mean, anything can happen. Some of y'all are also going to be meeting somebody who is your divine feminine or divine masculine, your divine counterpart after a period of struggle and, and all of this other stuff. And you may have children with that person. 
you may have two or three recognition is here okay this is luck abundance growth success fulfillment happy okay travel this says the spotlight is going to be on you not only will you accomplish your goals and come out on top but others will also recognize your success you fought a good fight that's that nine of wands energy we were just literally talking about you did fight a good fight you know the journey is not perfect you know it ain't always butterflies and and honey and rainbows action there goes that action that's that king of wands ace of swords knight of swords energy you're gonna know when to do that no more overthinking you're breaking the cycle of inaction and finally getting something done you will set your plans in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward in your life so if you just get off of your didn't i say don't be sitting on your hands and twiddling your thumbs you'll know what the time is right okay can we get a little bit more on this action energy Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> that is that. Um, uh, what, what was that energy called? Uh, Jupiter, that good luck energy, the abundance, the happiness. You're manifesting nothing but good luck. That's that nine of cups energy. Uh, everything you put your mind to will flourish and go smoothly for you. Keep going, keep growing and miracles will keep showing up. Remember, we saw that two of Pentacles energy. I feel like there's going to be a decision that has to be made when it comes to job, business or love or a partner. For some of y'all, this could be two different masculines when it comes to love. OK, and it looks like to me, the King of Wands is the person that you know that you need to choose. Um, and for some of y'all, that's not about love. OK, it's about how you're going to make take action for yourself in some form of business or job spirit is saying don't delay making that decision don't be in this two of pentacles energy for too long you still need to plan chariot and be disciplined two of wands right um because there is going to be a perfect time the perfect time you'll know when that's going to be king of wands ace of swords and knight of swords just just don't miss out that's all i'm saying let's pull a few cards this is our career deck and purpose. What else is coming for the collective and new next chapter of their life? Rewards. Money is going to be improving. Y'all about to be getting a raise, starting a business, finally being exposed, getting the expo exposure that you work so hard for. Something that you work really hard at is turning around for you. Some of you guys are going to be doing something that you've always wanted to do since you were a child or something you've been studying on for a very long time. You are cashing in on all the good work that you've done. Raises, bonuses, and prosperity are coming in. Keep going and keep growing. Again, another message of you growing. Going, okay and to keep pushing and keep moving forward it's like one good thing happening after the other once this comes in wow and these cards is like tripping protection okay so i don't know what that's about but you are being protected from deceit and from situations that no longer serve you lie low for a while and you will be shown the truth so spirit really wants to get your attention when it comes to that because that card just like hit me in my chest. So spirit is getting ready to reveal to you moving in your next phase and chapter of your life. You're going to know exactly who is who. The seen and the unseen. The uh, people who are the people who are wearing a mask. The people who don't mean you any well. The spirit is going to show you who these people are before because they want you to know when you move into this next phase of all this abundance these people are not going to be able to go with you and experience that with you so they're they're going to tell you at the right time they, they will be revealed you don't even have to do anything beginning it's a good time to start a new job or a whole new career you have creative ideas that get noticed build a nest egg for the future remember we talked about you need to save be careful with your overspending um, don't be loaning people money. You know what I'm saying? And I'm serious. I don't, you know, if you need to help somebody out, sure. Fine. But be careful with that. Cause I feel like you're going to need this nest egg. So if you have an idea that you want to start your own business and you have this beautiful idea to do something new or change its trajectory or change what you do for a living, do that. 
shedding old skin and moving into a new phase, you are starting to outgrow your work situation. You need to set higher goals and standards for yourself. You work well in healing and medicine. So if, for those of you, you may feel like it's time for you to move on to something different and new. You're shedding old skin and you're ready for something new. You're going to be growing. Keep moving. Don't be afraid. And then we have people skills, something you do. Um, you may help people. You know, I told you that or you're just good with people. Use those people skills to help elevate yourself. You have a flair for working well with other people. You could be a diplomat, a counselor, a salesperson or head of a company. If you have want to start a company, I suggest you do that. But be careful where you spending your money and investing your money or be careful who you invest with. Ending. You may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may change your career entirely. We literally just talked about that. Yeah, literally. We have guidance on the bottom of the deck. Okay, this says divine forces are showing you the way to go. You are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life. Okay. Good reading, you guys. I love you. Hit the like button. Comment down below if you like this um, reading. Make sure you are have your notification bell turned on to all so you know when we post new videos. If you need a personal reading, I am open for those. You, you can just click the link in the shop um, for the shop in the description box or you're welcome to email me too. whatever you feel comfortable with. Subscribe to the channel if anything resonated for you. I'm wishing y'all well and um, on this journey, you know. It could be scary sometimes, I know, but just keep pushing. You can do it, you guys.